Hi, this is JP from Nota Lights Over Arkham. This time in deck testing, we are testing a deck by Kennedy Hawk from the Mar Marvel Champions Monthly Podcast and it is Nebula Leadership. And we are testing the deck against the Hood. And I am using the, the most difficult setup from the standard version of the Hood. So we have the uh, modular sets from uh, 9 to 3 in use, uh, which are uh, explained in the manual but uh, we are also using the uh, standard 2 uh, instead of the standard modular set so formidable foe is in play at the beginning of the game but uh, first off let's see what the uh, nebula leadership deck is all about so i will hop over to the marvelcdb.com uh, site and let's look at the deck quickly Okay, and we are over on marvelcdp.com and there is the deck. So the deck name is the, on, the one where Nebula flips only to hero two times. So as you can immediately see, there are a lot of allies in the deck. So uh, a total of 10 allies. And uh, then uh, we have well, the, the allies mostly consist of the um, allies that come in uh, that are guardians. So we have like uh, Cosmo, uh, Drax, Groot, and of course, well, Gamora is the uh, uh, Nebula set Gamora, not the um, basic version. But yeah, the whole point of this deck is, I won't go into much detail on the deck, but uh, the main point of this deck is to uh, stay in Alter Ego, build up your techniques as much as you can, uh, keep uh, the threat low with the allies, so a lot of thwarting going on with the allies, and um, while you are building up, the allies will take care of the threat or try to keep the threat in bay. And when you are ready, you have a lot of ally. Uh, well, you have a lot of uh, techniques in in uh, play. You will flip. You will play uh, Blaze of Glory and just nuke the living hell out of the villain. But yeah, we'll we'll see how this in practice works against the Hood. I haven't tried this deck uh, earlier, and I think this might be a deck that needs some. Uh, uh, practice runs before you can master the finances of the deck, but uh, we'll see how this goes. So um, we have already set up the deck and scenario here. So the last thing we need to do for the setup is to uh, pick a random modular set that will get shuffled in the encounter deck. So we the number these are about about randomized. I, I didn't put them in number order. So we start from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then uh, reroll the numbers we don't have. So we get number four. So it's one, two, three, four. So uh, the uh, Beast Boys uh, modular set gets shuffled right at the start into the encounter deck. Then uh, uh, we have. Uh, the rest set aside and we'll add those while the game progresses and uh, after we have shuffled the encounter deck to flip this so I'll just check that if we need to do something when revealed each player masters of the hoods fall up uh, play ability in player order so we do that now so whole play is again uh, special discard the top card of the encounter deck. If that card doesn't belong to the hood encounter set, deal it to yourself as some based on encounter card. So let's see what we get. And it is the hood set card, so we just discard it. And lucky that because it's Madam Mask, and that is a tough ally, uh, tough minion to handle immediately. But yeah, that is the setup done. So I think we are ready to begin. So let's get started.
Okay, and uh, we are ready to begin. So I'll draw my open hand of, hand of six cards. So, so the decks are pre-shuffled. So one, two, three, four, five, six cards. And we are looking for some allies to handle the threat and also um, techniques to play. So uh, we get genius, little intent, uh, triskelion, white tiger, welcome for the rats. Uh, so we could flip and play allies cheap and then go back. So let's see. Uh, we didn't hit any technique, so I think little intent is not that useful now. Uh, we might want to try Skellion into play, but it is a bit... So we also, as we play White Tiger from your hand, draw X card for X the equal to the stage number, so we would draw a card, so... Hmm. Welcome aboard, and uh, I think we will flip, we'll play those, we'll uh, mulligan that, and we'll just play Price Gallion with the extra card. Well, we'll mulligan the lethal intent, we'll flip, we'll get the uh, cutthroat ambition, so we don't want now, now to play that. start like plan but uh, well uh, we could draw the two cards and not play anything else yet so I think I will use tracks to play the cutthroat ambition I'll draw two cards uh, strength in numbers and Gamora okay okay uh, I think we will flip, so if we use ranking numbers, so welcome aboard, we reduced by two, we can use ranking number to draw one, we can play Gamora, so we can play actually two allies here, this sounds good, so we'll flip, and uh, first off we will use welcome aboard, my identity has the Guardian, so it reduces the cost of the next ally played this place by two. So we'll use the strength in numbers to pay the last one resource. So we get White Tiger in play and we draw one card and we get strength. So how uh, unfortunate because, well, we can save the strength for next turn. So I'm using the Tri Scalian strength. Uh, uh, or genius to play Gamora. And uh, then I choose this technique and I remove three threats from a scheme when Gamora com comes to play. We'll keep this in hand. And I think we are just saving these uh, two for thwarting next turn and I will hit with Gamora. And just a reminder, this icon means that the villain has uh, steady, and steady means that you have to stun or confuse it twice for it to take effect. So that is a good thing to remember. Okay, uh, I'm just saving these for thwarting. I won't do any attacks with them, so we'll ready up with draw back up to uh, five. One, two, three, four, five. So we get the honor. Our guardian, which we will definitely play on Nebula, so now we can start playing um, Guardian allies from Alter Ego, and we go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the scheme. Uh, Hood attacks. I will defend with Nebula, and uh, one plus two is three. So 
So we take one damage. Then uh, we'll get an encounter card, and it is upper hand. So the hood attacks you, result the hood's whole playability. So first the hood attacks, I'll just take it with Gamora. And uh, give the villain one additional boost card for this activation. This might hurt. Reveal this card so hood gets the pistol in play. So two. Four damage. Ouch. Well, nothing we can do about that. Then we activate the whole play. And it is a hood card, so we don't get it at least. And that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next zero phase. Okay, so I think this turn um, uh, we could get rid of the hood's pistol. I'm using. Uh, I need to use. I'll use Blaze of Glory and Cosmo in hero as a hero action to get rid of the Hood's pistol. This is just so that the Hood won't scheme that much. And we will flip to Alter Ego. Oh, yeah, and this actually triggers at the start of our turn, so remove three threat from a scheme. So, unfortunately, it won't stay in play, but that's okay. We'll uh, flip to Alter Ego. And I will play the Honorary Guardian. Well, first I will. Yeah. Uh, first I will play the Evasive Maneuvering. So, while in Hero Form, Nebula ignores the Guard keyword, the Park Troll keyword, and the Crisis icon, and choose to either stun or confuse an enemy. So that comes in play, and uh, Nebula's ability draws us two more cards. And. I will use the welcome on board to play the honorary guardian. So now we can play um, allies, uh, guardian allies that require the guardian keyword. Okay, and we also get one hit point, so just add that. We keep the white stance in hand for this. For now, uh, we won't be attacking again. I'm saving these allies just for thwarting, so we'll draw back up to uh, five, uh, six. So we get Rocket Raccoon, Strength in Numbers, Bomb Up Ready, Groot, Honorary Guardian, and White Stance. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the scheme. Good uh, schemes for. Uh, 1 plus 2 is 3, so we are at 4. Nearly advancing, but not yet on. Uh, luckily, and uh, the encounter card for this turn is uh, the Hood Schemes. <laughs> of course, of course. Well, uh, Hood Schemes for 1 plus 1. Uh, the villain is attacking well it isn't so unfortunately this advances nothing we can do to prevent it so when a real choose one set aside modular, modular encounter set at random then shuffle it into the encounter deck place one acceleration token in the main scheme so put that there start with two and we'll choose the modular set one, two, three, four. So I'm skipping the latter four. So state of emergency gets shuffled into here. Just a quick shuffle. Okay, and then we need to remember that we had the upper hand, so we still need to resolve the. Uh, ball playability. It is still one card. So we don't get an encounter card, but then <laughs> when revealed, each player must result a good ball playability in player order. So for each who didn't get the card placed to the threat here, it is another upper hand, so we are fine, but we'll add two threats here. So now we need to warp a bit. But yeah, uh, that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. And uh, we of course forgot to ready Nebula. So 
I think uh, first thing we do, we are definitely staying in Alter Ego for this round, so we will heal. So I'll heal for three. And then we'll use the strength in numbers to play white stance to draw cards. We get unyielding persistence and major victory. And before I forget, I will work with these two. Luckily, these both are good workers, so we get rid of all of the threat. And uh, we want to play more quarters. Don't have a lot of. Uh, Techniques yet there, so I think we use this and uh, honor a guardian and uh, to play rocket and uh, now we are at our ally limit, so I'm just playing the unyielding persistence, so we gain. Just so it is easier for me to remember, I gain Stalwart for now. And uh, then that is our turn. We are not using Rocket, so we're ready up. Draw back up to 6. Helicarrier nowhere. So now we can play this because we have the honor guardian. That's really good. Maria Hill, uh, weapons master, master void stance, a lot of techniques. So that is good. So we'll uh, go to the villain phase. We add two threat because of the accelerated token. Boot schemes for one plus one and give the villain one additional boost score for this activation. So two, uh, so one, two. Three, four. We are at six. That's still okay. Encounter cards for this turn is beast mode. Forced interrupt when a stun or confused friendly character would take any amount of damage. Increase that amount by one, and it has three. I think this is can just ignore the, this for now. And that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, well, as we now can play nowhere, I think we will do that. Uh, well, hmm. I, well, this is a pickle. We would really like to play the heli carrier, so we can start playing. Okay, so the ally limit uh, is raised without being a guardian, so that's good. <sighs> well, I think, well, let's do this first, just so we don't forget. So. We are thwarting all of this away. And uh, White Tiger is defeated by that. But then we probably want to play Murray Hill. Or do we want the Heli Carrier? This is a tough choice. Uh, White Stance is not that needed at this moment. That we use nowhere. Weapon master. Well, I think we will first play one of the weapon masters with the white stance. Draw two cards. We get actually Nebula's ship. That is helpful. I think we'll play that instead of the heli carrier. So I'm using the heli carrier. 
and uh, lethal and then at this point play nebula ship then I'll use nebula ship and uh, nowhere play Mariah Hill we draw one we'll use combat ready to play the other weapon master if we're chilling in alter ego for one more turn and we also have the retaliate too so I'll actually put a what can I use for retaliate well I'll use this to indicate that I have retaliate too, so I'll punch while these are in play. Just checking, so we have the retaliates, we have the plus one attack and ward, so mm. <laughs> I'll put this into play. I'm using the first counter so I can find for those. Then I have the we reduce damage. Uh, we have the stall ward and we ignore those. Okay. Actually, do we have the stall ward anymore? We lost that. Yeah, we lost the stall ward already. This is so <laughs> confusing sometimes to keep up with all of this. So uh, we are just healing full. Uh, we have uh, one extra health from this, so that is good. And Maria Hill won't do anything. We ready up. We draw back up to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Still down. One to take out. So we get energy. Honorary Guardian Gamora. Got for the ambition, place of glorious strength in numbers. Okay. So we'll go to the villain phase. We add two threat here. Uh, hood schemes for one plus. Uh, reveal this card. So plus one, so two. That is okay. Then. Uh, Encounter card for this turn is uh, Griffin, so one of the uh, Beastie Boys. So uh, Griffin has Quick Strike, Posture Scrunch. After Griffin attacks and damages a character, stun that character when defeated. If there is a stun, friendly character in play, shuffle Griffin into the encounter okay. deck. Okay. And that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, yeah, I think we start by playing the Cutthroat Ambition. We'll draw two cards, we get uh, Lethal Intent and get Martin X. So I think this... Okay, now I noticed I have a slight... Uh, slightly wrong card when I build the deck, so I have to Gamora, so I can't play this Gamora. I actually can't even have this in the deck, so I'm just removing it from the game. We'll ignore that. And uh, yeah, that <laughs> that is the problem with Nebula and Gamora. You have, but I have the Nemesis uh, minion where Nemesis there also Gamora. So a lot of Gamoras flying around. Okay, uh, I think we could play Place of Glory this turn, just to make a really impactful turn, just ignoring the Griffin. We could use strength in numbers, well, uh, yeah, we get the next hand card, shuffle this. So, 
play Honorary Guardian on Mario Hill. Then... We play Martin X after Gamora attacks. Okay, we'll flip. Uh, do we want to play the lethal in the fuse of two X technique upgrades and controllers of each of the special abilities? So we could play that for two to resolve the weapons master twice. If, uh, yeah, that, that sounds good. We'll play the lethal intent using energy. We resolve cutthroat and uh, not uh, we uh, weapons master twice, so we deal eight damage to the hood. Uh, I'll use Martinex and strength in numbers to play place of glory. So each guardian character gets plus one, plus two sword and plus two attack. This phase at the end of this phase deal one damage to each guardian character. So. That is okay. First off, we will use Gamora to deal 4 damage here. And the hood flips. So, when revealed, choose one set aside modular encounter set at random, then shuffle it into the encounter deck. And we need to deal 16 damage to defeat. The hood, and we'll choose the set at random. So we have five left, and we get number two. So we get the sinister syndicate. I think we won't be seeing a, a lot of that. So just quick shuffle for the encounter deck, and we're ready to keep going. Uh, Nebula has uh, plus one from here, plus two from there, so three, four, five. So we'll hit with Nebula. We'll uh, have Rocket has three. We could defeat Griffin. That guy hits hard, so. Uh, Maria Hill will hit for 3 damage here, and Rocket will hit uh, 3, uh, 4, 6 damage, so we overkill by 2 and defeat Griffin. And uh, that is our turn. Uh, we are ready up. At the end of the phase, we deal 1 damage to defeat. Uh, it's guardian character, so yeah, Nebula also takes one. We'll draw back up to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. White stands, combat ready, little intent for small tracks, and place of glory. Okay, so I think we will end this next turn. So, um, villain phase starts, we have two threats here. Uh, the hood attacks, I'll take it with Nebula, so 1 plus 2 is 3 damage, that is okay, and count the cards, we already had one, so citywide crisis, resolve each when revealed ability of each side scheme in play, there are, well, there are no, no side schemes with those in play, no, was, yeah, so we have to add 2 here, so unfortunately, this advances, Gets two. So, crime state. Uh, when revealed, choose one of the set aside modular round sets at random, then shuffle it into the encounter and place one extra reduction token the main scheme. Each player must resolve the whose ball play ability. Okay. So, that comes into play. Just three, 
already. Uh, we get an extra end uh, observation token here. Let's see what set we get. So we have four left. Uh, we get the number four. So it is the breaking crew. Then we get Beetle. And now the pole ability, the pole plays a special, discard the top two cards of the encounter deck, deal the first card, discard it this way, that does not belong to the two encounters, set yourself as a face down encounter card, so let's see what we get. Okay, so we discard two cards. Uh, none of them belong to the hood, but the first one was uh, Disaster at the Docks, when we will take three indirect damage. Okay, well, we'll take the damage on Nebula. Oh yeah, and Nebula has Retaliate too, so we deal two damage here when uh, uh, the hood attacked, which I forgot. Okay, and that is that, so I will just add the threat here. We get an another acceleration token, but I think we'll finish the game next round, so that is that, but... Um, that is the villain phase, let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, so... After your turn begins, resolve uh, the special ability on each technique upgrade you control, then discard each technique upgrade resolve this way, so... We will resolve uh, Cutthroat Ambition, remove 3 threat from Scheme, deal 4 damage, deal 4 damage, and that is the game, but let's pick it up. We look at the encounter deck, whatever, we stun an enemy, and that is the game, so that went pretty well. Uh, I think the deck performed quite well, uh, just so long as you get uh, a couple of uh, two dwarf allies in the play right at the beginning. You can go back to Alter Ego to build up and uh, getting the honorary guarding or the Knower into play as soon as possible is really important. So you can uh, play the guarding allies even from Alter Ego. So hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.